Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Monica S. Martinez Live, Monica S. Martinez TV. I am Monica S. Martinez. The S stands for sex. So we thank you for joining us week after week. It's been, you know, great. It's been a challenge. Um, we've worked out some technical difficulties, which is great. Um, I am actually sporting a nice pair of headphones from GNA.com. And what they are are portable headphones, uh, gaming. You can also use them uh, to <laughs> chat like I'm doing right now with you guys. It's amazing. The sound is totally crazy, which is great. So tonight, I have a really special guest for you guys. You guys are really in for a treat, I tell you. We have Mistress Leslie, who will be joining us probably about five minutes or so. And um, yeah, you guys, hold on to your seats because this is happening tonight. Welcome again to the Monica S. Martinez TV Live. Let me just unplug these headphones right quick. So again, for the headphones, please feel free to visit gna.com for them. And they're pretty cool because they're, I don't know if you can see that, they're black and red. So it kind of matches what I'm wearing today, like a nice little red dress. So put that aside and let's see. For all those who want to contact me or know more about me, Feel free to visit my site, monicaatsmartinez.com. My website is finally up and running again, so I'm super excited behind that. Uh, visit me on all social media sites under Monica S. Martinez, and the S stands for sex. So be prepared and be ready for tonight for this ride. You guys are going to love it, love it, love it, love it. Again, like I said, we have Mistress Leslie joining us today. And if you guys have any questions, let me see, during this uh, broadcast, feel free to, you know, chime in. I'm going to have my, um, my little chat thing on here in Google Hangouts. So make sure you ask the questions in the group chat. I'll send them over to Leslie as we are broadcasting throughout the night. And I am turning on my Facebook in case those of you who can't get me here, because I know a few have indicated that they have tried to, you know, uh, text me on here and I never responded. Honestly, I probably just didn't know how to work it. Hopefully having this group chat thing up is working. If not, feel free to get me on the Facebook page and I will answer questions and all your concerns there. If you have questions for Mistress Leslie, I'm really excited about this guest, like super excited about her. Uh, so I am opening up my Facebook. So again, Monica S. Martinez on all media sites. Feel free to catch any of my books on Amazon.com or any book sites as well as the Monica S. Martinez.com site. And we want to thank Mini Moments for her products that she had sent over to me as I told you guys last week and the week before that she sent over this shea butter uh, called baby powder and I am pretty much done with it it smells really amazing I took a shower I moisturized so it feels pretty good um, on the skin she also sent me this nice oil lavender which I use on my pillow to help me fall asleep you can also use it as a perfume. She sent me a musk and she also sent me bombshell because she obviously knows that I am a bombshell. So yay to her and thank you many moments. Uh, we appreciate that. Well, I appreciate that. And you can visit her at the minimomentsonline.com. Again, www.minimomentsonline Dot com and for all of those again I will remind you I am Monica S Martinez and the S stands for sex and I see that we have our guest online well hello mistress Leslie 
<laughs> Thanks for having me here. Well, thank you for joining us. We really appreciate you joining. Well, I appreciate it, actually. <laughs> thank you. So I, I have not done my formal introduction of you because normally I do. I, I read a little bit about you. But since you're on a little early, feel free to tell our viewers who you are. I mean, mistress, mistress sounds dominatrix to me. I'm, I'm just saying it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is about domination. Um, I'm into spiritual domination using feminine energy with my clients. So by that, I mean that my frequency, my energy is stronger than theirs. Mm -hmm. And so doing, I help to up uplift them in their state, whereby they can enjoy actual intimacy, emotional intimacy, with themselves and with their partners. So my name is Leslie Tavernier and I am a relationship and intimacy coach and it's based on sacred sexuality and sexual polarity. So harmonizing masculine and feminine so that it's connects with each other. So that's what I do. Excellent. I just want to really hear about the dominatrix part, really. So um, can we can we get back on to that, you know? Um, so ex explain that to me a little more, pretty please. Sure. You know, um, the, the mainstream understanding of domination, um, from what I understand, has more to do with orders and in some cases, humiliating another party or even inflicting pain. And that's fine. That, that can be healing. And I know a lot of people enjoy that. My idea of domination is that it's more of a mental domination. So, for example, when I used to do sex work, <laughs> I... Wait, rewind. You said when you used to do sex work. What, what kind of sex work are we talking about? Come on. Like, if you're going to say something, you got to give me all the details. All of them. <laughs> providing sensual massage. Um, wait, so wait, almost like a tantric kind of thing? Well, I, I would call it tantric. I my clients didn't necessarily know that that's what it was mm -hmm. but just getting a massage getting a hand job getting a blow job having wait 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 so wait you gave hand jobs like happy ending correct i used to do that i did that for three years full time so i worked with a lot of men of oh yeah you sent them out with happy endings <laughs> We had happy coming is what I like to use. Happy coming. Yeah. The the thing with the happy ending is that um, it takes you away from being present. So a lot of times men were very much focused on getting to the destination. And my for them to enjoy the entire journey and not be so focused on the destination. So I had to have it clear in my mind and my heart and spirit that the entire journey is enjoyable, not just the ending. And in, in, in being in that knowing and in that state, I helped a lot of these men to recognize that there's more to sex than what, what they believed it was. So... Yeah, show them basically how to get in tune with their feelings more than just the actual physical act of it is what you're indicating. Yeah, what, what a lot of men had told me that when sex workers, um, it was a very rushed situation. Uh, you know, they would pay for an hour and it would only be like 15 minutes before it was over. Um, and so I was constantly having to reassure them that you are going to get an hour with me and I'm not going to focus on your penis, mm -hmm. your entire body from head to toe, your penis. That was a new experience for a lot 
of my former clients because they're used to have women focus mainly on their penis. Wow. This is like a lot of information within a short period of time. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess it would, it would, it would be safe to say that you enjoy sex. I, I enjoy sex. Yes. Uh, I don't enjoy sex that is focused on the destination. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't enjoy sex that is stressful and all about busting a nut. But wait, you how, know, how can just... sex be stressful? Because I, I mean, I never find sex to be stressful. I find it to be my stress reliever. And, and that's what it's supposed to be. It should be a stress relief. But for a lot of people, it is stressful. Why? Um, because they are focused on a, a specific outcome. And so a, a lot of men are suffering from what they think is premature ejaculation. A lot of men are suffering oh. from erectile dysfunction. Well, maybe these men are not, I mean, like you're saying, uh, what is that, premature ejaculation? Well, maybe, you know, the, the female partner's stuff is just so awesome that they just can't help it. So Yeah, I, that's the thing. I, I don't think there's any such thing. Like, there's no set time for when semen is supposed to come out of your penis. I don't believe that there is such a, an actual thing as premature ejaculation. But a lot of people are stressed out because they think they have this disorder called premature ejaculation. And yeah, so well, it's with, called, isn't it called like, think baseball guys, like take a minute, pull out and take a break and breather and, you know, think baseball. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I want to know. <laughs> you could do that. But what I, what I recommended is, you know, Yes, your penis is pleasurable, and yes, ejaculating is pleasurable, but let's explore what else you can feel. So about, can you give you know, us an example what, what these other men have felt with you, in a sense, like um, after you were teaching them? Yeah, it depends on their level. So if, if they weren't open to energy, to feeling energy, <laughs> which is most men, um, then they would experience being pleasured in other parts of their body. So their ears, there's ear reflexology. Your oh yeah, ear. it's like right here, like you do this kind of thing. Every part of your ear represents your, your body. So mm -hmm. just by touch very lightly on the ears, that's a, that's a stimulation. Absolutely, you know, I have to agree with you on that. <laughs> One of my clients, uh, I, I stimulated his neck by, by kissing on his neck. And he told me that that was the first time in his life that he experienced sexual pleasure in his neck. That was possible. So, you know, there's the neck, the ears. A lot of men like nipple stimulation. Mm -hmm. so, um, the lower abdomen massage in their lower abdomen, their sacral chakra. And I always made sure to massage that area. And for a lot of men, it was surprisingly pleasurable to receive that massage in that area of their body. Mm -hmm. the, the scrotum, um. that's an area that to get ignored i don't know why ladies you better get on your jobs <laughs> well you have to be very delicate with that oh area. absolutely it is, it is very... but but sex should be it, it, um that... delicate unless you know you're in the mood for you know i like it rough type you know pull my hair stick me from the back type thing so yeah i think that you know sex is very intimate and you know, people, people do rush. I, I do believe that, you know, people want to get their three minute quickie in. I, I'm, I say go for the long haul and, you know, take your time with it. But we have a couple of questions for you, Leslie. So <laughs> <laughs> it says that you are a certified, it says you are certified as a three way mirror. Mm -hmm. What? Coach, can you explain what a three mirror is? Well, I love a three-way mirror. 
company, a coaching company called Juju Mama. And I'm sure you've, you've heard the idea that the people we attract mirror us in some kind of way. Mm-hmm. So the, the three-way mirror basically shows that the people that are in your life mirror you in three different ways. So they, they can mirror you in terms of your potential, so your future, what you're capable of, of achieving or, or expressing. Mm-hmm. They can mirror you in terms of your current habits and behaviors or proclivities, so how you are in the present. And they also mirror you in terms of your patterns and expectations. So if you expect men, you expect men to abandon you based upon your childhood experience with your father or lack thereof, then you're going to attract that kind of experience with men in adulthood. So all three of those scenarios are mirrors. And I explore those with my, with my clients and I show them how they can shift those patterns those reflections to to then figure out how to shift their reality. So are your clients both men and women or are are you focusing more more on the male group? Currently I'm focused on women. But I, I'm focused on women right now. So how in tune do you get with these women? Are I mean, are we still in the same similar business as far as um, teaching those aspects that you said you were doing before. You were spending an hour with these clients and stuff like yeah. that. With, with, my, with my female clients, we meet on over a video chat through Skype. So it's not physical. I'm not touching them. It's all online. And it's more about exploring their feelings towards men. The expectations of men because a lot of the the blockages that women are having in terms of enjoying sex with men logical so we really delve into that mm. well I, I don't know but i i like enjoy just being you know with my man and enjoying all the pleasures that come with it. I don't I don't want to put too much thought into it. Like I just want to giddy up and ride and just do what I want to do. You know what I mean? So I, I can't understand some of this stuff and, and I'm glad that's why we have you here because like I see sex in a whole different outlet, you know? So um it's always good to get another person's view on it and stuff. So we have another question. Um, sure. I think that you really answered this because um, you, you pretty much answered it through your three-way mirror, I believe. It, it says, why do you think women have such difficulty connecting with themselves and ultimately with men? A lot of women have learned how to be in their left brain. This society teaches us that it's better to be logical It's better to be analytical. It's better to be in your masculine energy in order to succeed in life. And so a lot of women adopt masculine energy and they forget how to be feminine, their emotions. They forget how to access their right brain. They forget how to access their intuition. They they don't know how to turn off the mental chatter. So when it, they may succeed in, in business and in, in the workplace and so forth, but when it comes time to be in the bedroom with a man, they don't know how to turn that off and get into their femininity and surrender and receive. Well, we're not talking all women because I, I'm going to disagree with you here because that's not me. Totally not me. No, it's not. I am like. Yeah, I'm definitely feminine. I love, you know, the whole being a woman thing and, you know, taking care of myself and prepping myself before, you know, anything takes place. I'm all about that. I mean, as you can see, you know, I, I, I took care of myself today. I'm going to stand up and show this. So, you know, make sure I was good for the show. You know? So I don't know about that. It's not so, all women, but it's, it's many women. Most women have never had a vaginal orgasm. I know, which is crazy. Which is insane. Some women have not even experienced an orgasm, period. Period. Not They're missing out on so much. Yeah. 
so much they're missing out on. So while we're on the subject of orgasms, because you know, I love talking about orgasms and happy comings and stuff like that. Tell me, how many types of orgasms are there? I think it's all honestly. You know, um, I've heard it said, stated that there are 11 different kinds of orgasms that women can have. But I think it's unlimited because we can orgasm anywhere in our body. We can have energy orgasms anywhere in our body. We, I mean, we can have orgasms without touch. We can oh, orgasm, absolutely. You know, without being in the same room with our partner, without even being in the same country. You know, so really, I mean, the, our, our ability to connect with one another, mm -hmm. limited. Excellent. So do you have a website? Um, you know, can you tell our viewers where they can reach you, contact you, all that fun stuff? And then we'll get into some more questions. Just kind of yeah. want to break it into yeah. there. Thank you. <laughs> My website is leslietavernier.com. And you can also find me on Facebook. Just look for Leslie Tavernier. And fa you did Facebook. What about Instagram? Do you have an Instagram, Twitter? I'm on Instagram. Uh, oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie Tavernier, same thing. So um, Facebook, Instagram, my website. And I'm also on, I have a YouTube channel. Uh, and you can find the, the link to this right on my YouTube channel. Yeah, and we'll post this video again for people, you know, who want to connect with you. Um, are You're currently in Canada, correct? That's correct. Toronto. Uh, Toronto. Oh, you know, I visited over there. I loved it. I really loved Toronto. That was one place I said that if I had to move out of New York, I might go there, but I have to rethink it because it's like super, super cold over there in the winter. And Our I'm winter. Hard. Yeah. Your winters are horrible. <laughs> <laughs> They're worse than New York winters. So yeah. I have to, be, you know, I have to think about that if I want to go. Yeah. But um, let's see. What What do you feel about having toys in the bedroom? What are you, What are you, What's your take on sex toys? Period. I don't with sex toys. People can use whatever they want to use. It's, it's really up to them. Um, personally, I, I'm not really into toys. I, I, I just like human contact. <laughs> I like physical touch uh, much more than, it's not really my thing. I like physical touch too, but you know, I like, I love toys. Um, as you know, I own a whole toy a uh, company where we go out and we educate women on pleasuring themselves um, and also like keeping the spice up in a relationship. So while I, I agree with you on the whole energy, exchanging energy and touch and intimacy, that's amazing. Um, but me personally, I'm, I'm a toy girl, totally a toy girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you ever used them before or is it is it just you used it and then you're just like, no, it's not. I've, I've, I've used vibrators um, on my clitoris. Uh, I have a yoni egg, which I got many, many years ago, and I, I just never really got into it. I've used the strap-on with some of my former clients, uh, and that was at their request. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, that's the extent of my knowledge of sex toys. Oh, okay, well, while we're on sex toys. <laughs> I want to go ahead and educate some of the females and males that are watching, you know, Monica S. Martinez live. So I have on tantalizingproductions.com, I have a tri-monthly pleasure box. So basically what we do is we send out the toys in a box and you'll get them quarterly. I'm getting a question for you. Give me one second. Oh, okay. Uh, a few people are inboxing me saying the show is great. So thank you. Um, so back to the uh, Happy Cummings Tri Monthly. As you know, we are featuring 
the bullet, the silver bullet, which I guess would be similar to your yoni egg in a sense. Okay. All right, so I just kind of want to show it to you. Yes? Does that kind of look like it? Yeah. Similar. Okay. Size. So, yoni egg. Hmm? Size to yoni I didn't hear you. You kind of broke up. I was saying it's similar in terms of the size, the length okay. to a yoni egg. Right. So the bullet, for our viewers, the bullet is great breast stimulant, clit stimulant, and also for the guy's scrotum, right? So if he's doggy style, you know, we're doggy style, we can take that and put the vibration onto the scrotum. So, of course, not high speed, but if you want to ejaculate in a, in a sense of like squirting ladies, I say take this to the to this highest speed you can. And we are talking serious happy comings. And for those of you who don't own a vibrator, shame on you. You should definitely try it. Don't knock it till you try it. I personally love it. So we talking about vibrators. Um, everyone has to understand that vibrators are a matter of choice. And usually when we start with vibrators, I always tell clients, you know, you should start smaller than what you're used to. Because that right there, if you go straight for something big, that's going to that's gonna probably turn you away from toys in general. Because, you know, as you know, latex, silicone, all of that is different from the actual natural penis. So we wanted to show a starter vibrator. This here is the jungle jiggler. And so the pearls rotate onto the vagina area, which sends the sensation, and then the dolphin does the clitoris. So I'm gonna turn this guy on real quick so you guys can see him work a little bit. So you see how those pearls are moving there? Right, so that's gonna go on the inside. And then it actually rotates the opposite way, so it kind of does left, right, left, right, while you're being pleasured with the dolphin on the clitoris, and you know, that makes room for happy comings. <laughs> so tell me, what are, are you married? No, I am in an open relationship. Open. So what I have. Mean? Wait, what does that mean? <laughs> Hold on, this is getting really interesting. <laughs> Open means that you can have um, emotional intimacy and physical intimacy with more than one person. And all I'm parties are okay? Correct. Correct. Oh, yeah. I, I, I don't know that I can do that because I'd be ready to stab somebody. <laughs> <laughs> be ready to stab, you know. Uh-uh. No, I don't think so. But okay. That's interesting. Yeah. Very yeah, interesting. So the my main partner, he is married to someone else. Wait, very so he's married to someone else? Does she know he's in an open relationship? They have an open marriage, so they both have other partners. Oh Jesus Christ! Where is this <laughs> happening at? <laughs> in the United States. <laughs> No, obviously, but I'm like, whoa, wait, what? Wait, so his wife knows Absolutely. that he has relations with other women, and y'all are just one big happy family. What? I don't know if it's a family, but everybody knows what's going on. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That, that requires you to be very patient mm -hmm. in a sense. Absolutely. Right, open relationships. You gotta explain more to me because I, I don't know. I'm, I'm a crazy Latina, I'm ready to stab you. Like what? Open what? No. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get jealousy in check. You know, if, if you can't handle the jealousy, then you won't be able to handle being in an open relationship. So, you know, you have to be willing to accept that your partner loves other people you know and and be okay with the fact that you love other people like i talk to a lots of different men i'm emotionally intimate with many different men 
I, I need the viewers to come in on this. How many how many people are okay with having open relationships, please? I mean, come on, chime in with me and let me know if this is okay, because I don't know. I think that my husband would probably be ready to kill me if I told him, hey, I'm going to share this with someone else other than you. Like, I, I'd be ready to stab him. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, you know, you know the, most people would say they're not okay with it. You know, mm -hmm. the vast majority of people would say they're not. But the thing is, when I was doing sex work, the vast majority of my clients were married and they were not telling their wives what they were doing. You know, so a lot so of people they, are lying. Ooh, so we got liars saying that they could be in open relationships and just doing what they want to do. So, but that then that leads us to them not having pure communications with their partner then. Right? right? I mean, I'd rather you tell me and let me have an option as to whether or not I want to be a part of this scenario. Because then if I'm part of a scenario that I don't know of, somebody getting hurt. I'm just saying. And, and that's what's happened a lot. People don't know what's actually taking place. So, you know, we, we need to be more honest. We need to practice really being vulnerable with each other and letting each other know what's really actually going on, what we're really actually feeling. So like, honestly, honestly, like, hey, honey, I, I'm finding him attractive. I want him in my bedroom type thing. This is, this is past a threesome. This is, this is past having a threesome. It's past right? having a threesome. It's like, I'm attracted to someone else and I want to explore that. Whether it's explore just... It, explore it like what? Relationship-wise or just physical? It, it, or it could be, be just both. having emotional intimacy with another man. Or it, it could be also having sex with someone else, having an actual relationship with someone else in addition to your primary partner. Hmm. All right, people, I need you to chime in. I, I don't see anything happening here in this group chat. And <laughs> you guys are just kind of leaving me here hanging. And I know you got questions and I want to know how many of you people want to be that honest with your partner to say, hey, I find this person attractive and I want to explore that. And now when you say I want to explore that, Leslie, does that mean with your partner or by yourself? Uh, by yourself. So basically, it's, it's having many relations. More, correct. So then what's More the point of being in a relationship then? Point of being in a relationship? Yeah, like what's the point of being in a relationship if if your partner just wants to explore? Because isn't that like an everyday thing? I mean, because most men are physical. So isn't that like an everyday thing? Damn, you know, she walks by, ooh, ooh, you know? Mm -hmm. So basically you're giving him permission to explore all of it. Yeah. Uh, you know, human beings are communal, meaning that we get energy from different people. We get different kinds of energy from different people. And I think that that's our natural state. That's our natural way of being. We, we, we can't get everything that we need from one person, emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually. We benefit from interacting with, with, with many different people on different but then, levels. But then the the person who's married, you know, 50 years would disagree with you. If they've been with the same person for 50 years, they would disagree. I mean, I, I don't know if I can fully agree with that statement because I mean, I grew up in a household where, you know, mom said, you know, you gotta be choosy about who you bring into your bedroom. You can't be exchanging energy with everybody, you know, because, because it's so intimate. So, so you're you're telling me that it's different? It, it is intimate and marriage is very intimate. What, but what I found is when I was working with a lot of married men is that the interaction that I shared with them, the energy that I shared with them actually enhanced their ability to then go home and have a better experience with their wife. 
Yeah, but their wife probably didn't know that they were experiencing that with you. Because they didn't tell their wife. Right. So, so then, then that, that's like insane. Like, I mean, God forbid, God forbid, let's just say I, I have to play devil's advocate here. So God forbid, let's just say, you know, married man goes off, doesn't tell his wife that this is what he's exploring. And then he comes home with a disease. Then what? Then what? I mean, I, I'm sorry. You come home with a disease, I'm killing you. End of story. <laughs> there ain't no ways around that. I don't care. I don't give a shit. No. Because my first thought is I need to be protected in all ways. Mm-hmm. So, and this, this is why I really feel that human beings need to start telling the truth with one another. We need to be totally honest about many of us, not all of us, but many of us have sexual desires for more than one person. Yeah. We start to tell the truth, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. going to be less <laughs> spread. Mm-hmm. The problem is that we're not telling the truth. Okay, hold on one second. We have a question for you. Sure. <laughs> So they want to know whether or not you consider women as other women as sexual partners as well. Um, I, no, I'm not interested in lesbian sex. Uh, I prefer to have sex with men. Oh, what's wrong with lesbian sex? Hold on. <laughs> what wrong with it? I, I'm not against LGBTQ. I just, my preference is to have sex with men. Have you ever tried it? I have, and I didn't like it. Why not? I think a woman's touch is soft. It would be softer than a man, I, I would tend to think. No? Yeah, I just, just the energy of, I just didn't, I just wasn't feeling it. I really like masculine energy. Oh, okay. Men. Men. <laughs> Men, you've made that very clear. You hear that, guys? Men only. <laughs> All right, Leslie, we want to thank you for coming on. Uh, again, please let our viewers know where they can find you, um, What if you have any special events coming up, uh, let them know. Sure. My website, once again, is Leslie, and that's L-E-S-L-E-Y, Tavernier.cook, same Uh, I also have a coaching program for women, which is 10 weeks, feminine power coaching and about that on my website. And I do have a free Facebook group, which you can join. It's called sex, love and divinity. And you can just look that up on Facebook or you can message me and I will add you to my group and we can talk about sex, open relationships, Tantra, whatever. You froze. So if you don't mind just repeating your whole website and where they can reach you again, because you froze a little bit. So I don't know if your connection is is um, a little sketchy on your end. OK, can you hear, hear me OK right now? Yeah. OK, so it's LeslieTavernier.com. And you can also find me on Facebook, Leslie Tavernier. You can find me on YouTube on the the same name, Leslie Tavernier, Instagram, Leslie Tavernier. You have a free Facebook group for men and women, sex, love, and divinity. You can just look that up on Facebook and request to join, or you can send me a message and I'll add you to my group. And in that group, we talk about sacred sexuality, um, energy orgasms, distant sex, uh, open relationships, marriage, everything. We talk about it all. So you're welcome to join my group. And I do have a coaching program for women, which is 10 weeks. And you can find the details of that on my website, leslietavernier.com. And guys and gals, you can reach her at, and I'm going to spell it out correctly this way they can get to you. That is L-E-S-L-E-Y-T-A-V-E-R, and it's a Nancy, I-E-R.com. That's correct. (laughs) Thank you. 
Mistress Leslie, thank you. Really quickly, do do you do you bring in whips and chains into the bedroom? I mean, because it's mistress, right? So do do you bring those things in? No, those are some of my favorite things. You don't bring that in? I don't. <laughs> I dominate so with my it, power. It you dominate with your power. So what is that? Just verbal verbal domination. It's, it's energy domination. So. For example, if I want a man to do something to me, instead of telling him to do it, I, I think it. Like if I want him to suck on my breast, for example, I think of what I want him to do and he does it. So he it's becomes like, like a mind reader? Hold up. <laughs> Wait. So he's but a mind He picks it up subliminally. He'll pick it up subliminally and he'll do what I want him to do. Really? So there's that's, no whips and chains. <laughs> this is, I'm going to think about what I want you to do to me and you're going to do it. Correct. Well, damn, I need some magic like that, girl. <laughs> so, you know, feel free to stay with us. Um, you know, I, I got to do a couple of introductions on a few toys and, um, you know, feel free to stay with us and chime in if anything, you know, piques your interest because we're interested in uh, keeping you on our show. So I'm talking about Dominatrix. I was getting all ready for you and stuff. I was pulling out the whips and stuff. So I'm trying to open one up currently. I have like a cute little flogger here and I just, I just want to know why you don't use this. <laughs> but, you know, so I'm going to subliminally think Hey, I think I'm gonna stink in, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> so, yeah, I was ready for you. It said Mistress Leslie. So, I was bringing all the fun stuff out for you. Yeah. What about nipple clamps? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> no? Well, a lot of people like that. A lot of people <laughs> um, wanna feel stimulation in their nipples. So, what about you? What do you what do you like to feel stimulation and on? I, I do enjoy having my, my breasts and my nipples sucked on for like a good 20 to 30 minutes. Um, that's extremely pleasurable for me. And it does if if the my partner does it for that long, then I will produce breast milk and feed him my milk. So I really, really enjoy nipple stimulation. How long is sex with you? Because I, I'm just, I'm curious now. I, ideally, it should be like at least like three hours. Sex. Ideally. One session. Three hours? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to reach my orgasm before then and I want to go to bed. <laughs> not, not three hours of intercourse. That's, that's just ridiculous. But just being intimate, being together touching, caressing, massaging, exchanging energy, loving each other, and having intercourse. Yeah, it should be at least three hours. For me, that's what I like. That's really interesting. So do you have any children? Because I don't yes, know I any do. woman who could give up three hours. Three, <laughs> you, how many children do you have that you can give three hours up to sex? I have two teenage sons, um, age 17 and 14. God bless you. I can't give three hours. Sorry. So we're going to have to cut that scale back a couple of hours, like at least two. So I just want an hour. <laughs> an hour is fine. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I mean, people, it is important to have intimacy uh, within your relationship. So that's loving, kissing, sucking, and, you know, just getting ready, getting in the mood. Um, again, back to the happy coming tri-monthly club box one of the featured items is coochie cream do you see that leslie yeah i do what's that about this here is great for ingrown hairs razor bumps um and it also makes the skin smoother there so there's no itchiness after you shave i usually tell the ladies feel free to send it send it on your guy's face because then he'll have coochie all over his face on his way out and on a worst case scenario, you can use it as a hair conditioner because I believe in multi-purpose. So I want to give another wow. shout out to minimoments.com for all her wonderful products. I wish you could smell me through here because I smell like baby powder. I use the shea butter from Mini Moments and um, all about the moisturizing, you know. 
And I also do this thing where I have to, I do my shoe of the day. And for the last two weeks, I kept forgetting to showcase my shoe. I'm, I'm a girly girl and I love heels. That's like my major thing. So do you get dressed up for your, you know, little rendezvous? <laughs> do I do get you? dressed up? Yeah, do you get dressed up? Really? 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 For, the, for the rendezvous, like for like your intimacy? What is it? Is it just, I'm just going into the room naked? Is it? Yeah, I mean, when, when I'm with someone, you know, we just pretty much take our clothes off and just get started. Nice. I see. I, I do the whole girly girl. I want to get prepped and all of that for everything. I told you that. Right. So yeah. that, that's pretty much anywhere. So guys and girls, I'm going to have to show you the shoe of the day. I don't know how much you guys pay attention on Facebook. Let's see if I can swing this down. Oh, I feel like I'm giving some kind of show here. Let's see what if I go over this way. Can you see on that? Wait, no, not yet. Hold on. There we go. Oh, okay. No. Can you see them? Yeah, they're very sexy. All right, so yeah, that's the shoe of the day, guys. <laughs> Showing those off today because I, I got yelled at from my assistant, Imalia. Thank you. She was like, you didn't do the show of the day. So I did it today. <laughs> so again, Leslie, please let our viewers know where they can reach you again. You want to tell them where they can reach you again? Um, oh, sure. LeslieTavenier.com. Leslie Tavernier on Facebook, Leslie Tavernier on Instagram, Leslie Tavernier on YouTube. And you can look up my free Facebook group, Sex, Love, and Divinity, and join to talk about sex and Tantra. So do you use oils for these massages? Yes, my favorite oil is coconut oil for massage. And I also like it because of its properties. It's antiviral, antifungal, uh, and antibacterial. So it's also um, good for helping to prevent the spread of disease. So, and I, I happen to like the smell of it too. I love coconut oil. They can use that as a lubricant. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. So coconut oil is amazing. I have a question from uh, someone they are asking what are your thoughts on about men having sex with men I, I don't see anything with that if you know one of my male friends is bisexual and he has sex with men and that's his thing like I don't I don't have any I don't have any issue with what anybody chooses to do uh, with their body me neither. I mean, listen, love is love as far as I'm concerned. I'm a lover of love. So, um, I mean, whoever you choose to love and, and share your, you know, most intimate moments with, that's cool. As long as they're cool with it and you're in love, I'm, I'm with it. I mean, even if you're not in love, and you, it's just sex. Great for you. Good for you. Uh, someone saying they need coochie cream. Yes, I will get you some coochie cream. So let me see if we have any more questions. I'm sorry I'm looking down. I'm making sure that, you know, I'm, I'm touching base with everything here for you so that, you know, everybody, they're loving this show, by the way. So I thank you again for, for um, joining us, Mistress. Nice to be here. <laughs> Monica. That's amazing. It's like awesome. I, I, here I am, like mistress. You know, here's the. Uh, I'm gonna show you know the vlogger again because I was ready for you today. I was like, oh, you know, this is this is the dominatrix. You know, it's gonna be real today. So, <laughs> and you're telling me you just think it. Like I, I'm gonna start doing that. Let me see, I'm gonna start thinking about the things that I want to take place and. Yeah. yeah, I mean, women have more power than we realize. Like, our power is is mental. You know, we have the power to influence our reality and shape it with our mind. Guys, you hear that? So you better be aware. Be very aware because I'm about to use 
all of this power. <laughs> I'm gonna channel my in a dominatrix and, and use this up. <laughs> yeah, even in terms of relationship, you know, a lot of women get upset if a man isn't texting them or calling them back or whatever, and they and they they start to go crazy and they start you know spamming him and all of that. And that's not effective. You know, it would be so much more effective to just decide, okay, you know, I'd really like to hear from this man. And just start to like visualize it and, and see it in your mind and, and get excited about it and feel good about it. And then before you know it, he's going to friggin' text you. You know, you know you what? Gotta... I, I, I want you to give our viewers an example of something to do. And then I want you to come back on and I want one of the viewers to, you know, comment about, hey, you know, she, she told me to do this technique mm -hmm. and I tried that and I want to see if we can make this work. So can, can you tell them, tell them what they can do? Yeah, in terms, of, in terms of the texting, you know, you don't want to harass him. You don't want to spam him, <laughs> you know, cause a lot of women do that. They'll send like a million text messages to try and force him to respond. And that, that just turns men completely off. Well, damn so, it, answer me. If I'm texting you, you better answer. Like, what the yeah, hell? Yeah, that, that's not that's not sexy. That's not attractive. It just it just makes the man feel irritated and just want to get the fuck away from you. So, you so? yes. So I'm what? Not, that that's I'm when we that. become the nags. Yes, and nagging is not sexy. It's uh, really not. yeah. It's you not know, I, I don't know. I don't know. Just answer my text, and we'll be all right. I don't have to call you 20 times. <laughs> <laughs> For a lot of women, it doesn't work. It doesn't, ultimately, it doesn't work. So uh -huh. you want to get into your power. You, you want to focus on what it is that you want. You want to receive a text from this man. So begin to visualize what kind of text you'd like to receive from him. Visualize what you'd like him to say to you. You well, know. we, we got to be careful yeah. about telling them what we visualize, because if, if the man is not, you know, true to his, you know, what he's officially told this woman, this other woman or what have you, I mean, he can have a family. So we got to be careful on those things, too. So <laughs> ladies, check him out first completely. Make sure he's not lying to you. <laughs> before you start visualizing the things you well, want here, here's done. The thing. Here's the thing. He will tell you the truth. He will be open and honest if he feels that you are able to hear him and, and receive what he's saying. If he thinks you can't handle it and you're going to fucking spaz out on him or threaten to divorce him or, or take him to court and take him all his money, then he's not going to tell you the truth. That you love him and accept him no matter what. And you're patient and you know, you're flexible he's going to open up. He's going to be emotionally vulnerable with you and share with you what's really going on with him. So we can influence whether or not the man is telling us the truth or not. Right. And I always say, I'm a, I'm a firm believer of, you know, listen to your gut. You know, they always tell you who they are. You're just either not in tune and not listening completely. Because, I mean, I guess most women go in with this mindset um, about, I can change him. And I totally disregarded what he said when he said he wasn't ready for a relationship. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's the yes. You're not supposed to try to, to, to change him. You can change yourself. You can, you can practice being more feminine. You can increase your magnetism and you can, you can increase your intuition, but you, you shouldn't be trying to, make him be a different person than who he is. <laughs> you want to actually know the man, you want to connect with him, you want to be intimate with him. And to do that, you have you have to actually <laughs> be open. You, you know, you can't just like try to force him to be like this this version of a man to fit your fantasy. Oh shit, if I could get a man to fit my fan fantasy, the rock would be standing here right now. Can I visualize that? Is that a possibility? 
LL Cool J <laughs> licking his lips. Can, can we just visualize that for a minute? I'm just saying. If I'm going to channel in my energy, I'm doing it that way. <laughs> the thing is, if you're in your feminine, if you're practicing feminine energy, then he's going to respond to you with masculine energy. He has to. And if he can't or won't, then he'll disappear out of your reality and someone else will show up and provide you with the matching or corresponding energy. Hmm. That's how it works. That's pretty interesting. I mean, I really enjoyed having you on the show. We have our my audience like cracking up. They're loving it. And, you know, thank you. Thank you for, you know, spending some time with us and hanging out here and, you know, educating us on the whole spiritual dominatrix so ladies get in tune with your inner dominatrix and you know start thinking about the things you want to take place and then they all will fall into place according to leslie mm -hmm. especially if you add sexual energy to it. if we want especially if you add sexual energy to it when you're when you're self-pleasuring you should be focusing on the things that you want you know, channel that energy towards what you want in your life. So if I, if, if I power. visualize an orgasm, an orgasm is to follow? Like if you, if you want more money. Oh, or you now you're talking money. something different. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> or if you want your relationship to improve in a certain kind of way, then, then bring that, that, focus or that, that goal into your sense into your self-pleasure so as you're masturbating or touching yourself or whatever instead of just thinking about something random think about the things that you actually want in your life and have wait, an order okay wait hold on because now now i'm like i'm confused because like when i'm masturbating mm -hmm. i am not thinking about money <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry so you're telling me that if I want more money, I, when I masturbate, I should think more money instead of, you know, fantasizing. Instead of fantasizing, mm -hmm. I should think more money. Yeah, you can actually orgasm to thinking about having more money. You can orgasm to thinking about anything. Wow. Oh, wow. You hear that, guys and girls? When, you ha when you're masturbating, think about the things you want, including money. Including you can money. manifest it towards you. This is awesome. You've been really, really awesome. Thank you so much for joining us, Leslie. And guys and gals, if you're interested in contacting Leslie, go on her website, L E S L E Y T A V E R N I E R dot com. And we'll post this link up again for those of you who missed it and want to hear more about what Leslie and I have been chatting about and visit her on Facebook, right? Under the same name, Leslie Tavenier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. Are you taking new clients? Yes, I am. Okay, so Leslie's taking new clients, and I believe you do this uh, via YouTube. How do you do, how do, you do your clients? Uh, my your sessions clients? over Skype through video chat. Okay, so video chat. So guys, feel free to get Leslie again, lesliethavenier.com. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us, Leslie. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> we'll have uh, this link posted onto your wall and then we'll also share it again in the Monica S. Martinez TV and we'll share it on my Facebook page and promote it that way too. Awesome. <laughs> so Leslie, thank you. Thank you for all the education you gave us today. And we want to wish you a happy coming. And <laughs> thanks for visiting the Monica S. Martinez live TV. Glad to be here. Good night, Monica. <laughs> Good night, love. Guys, I just want to say thank you for watching. Feel free to contact me on Monica S. Martinez. Dot com. The site is up and running. I am on all social media sites, Monica S. Martinez, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you name it, I'm there. You can catch my books on Amazon.com. And don't forget about the tri-monthly Happy Comings Club on TantalizingProductions.com. 
So I'm over and out on the Monica F. Martinez show. And thank you once again for joining us. Happy comings and vessels. Mwah.